So to understand how the zero value is going to be taken within the topic of gravitation, it's to first try to imagine this being Earth and here being a relatively high distance, a relatively large distance away from Earth when compared to its radius. The proper term for this would be an infinitely large distance. Okay, so let me just refer to this point X as being infinity. So what's going to happen at infinity? At infinity, given that it is a distance a relatively large distance away from the surface of Earth, the value of g, obviously in meters per second squared, would have approached the value of zero. Now, if g is approaching zero, and the farther away this point is, the closer to zero that value becomes, then the value for potential energy, if this is approaching zero, then anything multiplied by zero is going to become zero and therefore all of this value or rather the value of potential energy is going to be approaching zero. So since the force mg will be approaching zero then the value of potential energy will also be approaching zero. So instead of taking the zero joule mark the zero potential energy at the lowest point possible. In this particular topic, the tendency is to take the zero value at the highest point possible, at a point infinitely away from the surface of Earth. And this is very convenient just because the actual force on the object, the pull from Earth on the object, is also approaching zero. So this is one major difference between what you used to do in previous levels of physics to what you will be doing now within gravitation. This obviously causes a problem you never had to deal with before. Given that this value up top for potential energy is now zero joules, and given also that from the equation PE is equal to mgh, as we decrease the height, the value of the gravitational potential energy decreases because they are directly proportional. That means that if an object starts off here at x and then it moves downwards and ends up, say, at point y, which obviously y is at a, a smaller rather distance away from Earth than point x is, then its potential energy at y will be less. And what is less than zero joules? It must be a value which is negative. Okay, so it might be a negative 100, a negative 200, a negative 300, whatever. But the value for potential energy will, will now be a negative value. Now we usually see positive and negative values when we're dealing with vectors and we do know that energy is a scalar quantity. This minus sign does not give an indication of direction, but rather it just gives us an indication that any object at point y is going to have less gravitational potential energy than when it was at point x. So this is something to remember, the zero value, since it's an arbitrary value and then everything is worked out with respect to that zero value, is always taken to be at an infinitely high point, at an infinitely large distance away from the center of Earth. Whilst all the other values at all other heights closer to Earth will have less potential energy and therefore all those values will be negative in form. Thank you.